We opened on the diamond where over the weekend the Troy baseball team was scheduled to take on the Georgia State Panthers, but Mother Nature was on the horizon as well. Reporter Tavares Dennis walks us through the hectic weekend. After dropping game one of a three game set with the Georgia State Panthers, Troy took the field for game two, looking to even the playing field. The game never really got a chance to get rolling as during the second inning, storms in the area caused the weather delay. A delay that lasted almost five hours. When play resumed, Georgia State wasted no time adding three runs in the top of the third. Troy responded with several doubles in the fourth, getting those three runs right back. Tremaine Cobb Jr. added another run on his fourth home run of the year before play was stopped again until the next day, where Troy would secure the win 9-5. A win that tested the mental toughness of the truck. It was a weird, you know, trick on the brain, probably not just for myself, but for all the players. But we handled it well, and uh, fortunately, we just found a way there late. Game three's first pitch was less than an hour after game two concluded. Runs were on the board early, with both teams scoring in the second inning. While Georgia State scored its first four runs on solo homers, the Trojan bats went to work. Kyle Mock led the way going four for four, a triple away from the cycle. They're just good old confident hitters, confident baseball players. And you know, when you have that consistency in your approach, you find a way to get on often. And they did that today and certainly added some punishing swings with it. The teams traded blows until the fifth inning when Brooks Bryan turned on the ball, taking it 434 feet for a grand slam. The Panthers refused to quit though, adding runs in the sixth and eighth inning. But it wasn't enough as Connor Burt closed the door on the Panthers, securing a 10-7 win for the Trojan. Tavares Dennis, Troy, Trojan Vision News. The Trojans are now 28-14, which is tied for second place in the Sun Belt. Also, the win on Saturday is number 100 for head coach Skylar Mead.